ladies and gentlemen. Hey, today we are here live at our remote location. So we're going to do a do-it-yourself video today. And it is going to be a do-it-yourself walking stick. So what we have here is a sweetly painted uh, broom. One of those cheapos from Walmart. It was uh, $4.96. And if you saw my uh, SOG Spirit Point review, you saw this in there. But I stole it from the wife and painted it. So she doesn't know. So we're going to make this into a walking stick. So what we got here first is uh, we've got the, I think they're cane, cane tips they're called. Paid uh, $2.96 at Walmart for those two. We've got a, a dowel. I got still got the sticker on it. Uh, it's a 5 8 by 36 dowel. Uh, we have some paracord right here. And then we have this little dowel that makes up these two make up the length of that. But in this, and for save some time on video, I uh, drilled some holes in this one. So what I have is a, uh, a ferro rod blank and a piece of a, uh, oh, hacksaw. <laughs> Sorry about that. And uh, can add the ferro rod there. Saw there. There you go. You can make fire. And also, you got dry wood. So if you need to use that for any anything you got it we're gonna need uh, a blade cut some paracord lighter and uh, we're gonna show that later on so what we're gonna do first uh, like I said uh, I already painted it save some time for the video um, I just went with green because that's what I had but you can go with any color you want uh, it's completely hollow and it's got the, the tip on the, the end so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a uh, a paracord handle, I guess. Um, just wrap, basically wrapping the the top portion of the walking stick with paracord. So first thing you gotta do is make a a loop. And by the way, I have about. Uh, 16 feet of paracord is roughly what I got. I don't think I quite want to handle that long, so you make the loop as long as you want for the handle. Alright, we're going to go there. But you want to leave a little bit longer and I'll show you why once we get wrapping this so leave a little piece out there and your loops gonna your loops gonna fall off and stuff and that's okay um, get this paracord so I can use it we get it going here. Oop. Anyways, then you uh, continue. You, you can wrap fairly, fairly tight, and uh, we'll just keep wrapping and until we get to the top there. And I'll keep. I'll show you what's what we got going on. So we're wrapping this here, and uh, what I wanted to do was make a little uh, loop for my hand, you know, to hold on. So um, I just made the loop with the paracord up, and then I wrapped it a little bit tighter around that, and then we're going to continue to go up uh, here to the top of the loop. All right, so we're uh, pretty much done with the wrap. We got that, and this is not really a, a paracord wrapping 
uh, tutorial but got a little loop here that uh, you bring the, what's left of the paracord through so and this is what you need the knife for you just cut it where you uh, where you want it put your uh, your light get that so it's not all frayed okay all right so you got it through your loop and it's pretty tight so now you just take this and pull it through so you see how your your loops tightening up and your piece will go through you just pull that through okay and then what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna pull it just a little bit further so it's pretty secure I'm gonna make one more cut hopefully I don't cut my fingers and uh, seal that maybe on there there all right so you got your paracord handle wrapped that's uh turned out pretty nice got the loop in there you know all right so we got that done. That's perfect. So now let's move on to the uh, cane tips. You know, just your average tip. But what I did, and uh, like I said, I saved a little bit of time, did a couple things beforehand. I uh, glued a uh, button compass to the top of one of these. So that is going to be your tip there. Compass, paracord. You guys see where I'm going with this? A little bit of a survival walking stick. Next, you put your uh, your dowel back in. Now, the reason I put the dowel in there, or one of the reasons was, I wanted to make it a little bit more sturdy on the inside. Now, this isn't like a solid oak one, but it's not meant to be. So we put that back in. Okay. And we have our ferro rod in there, along with our hacksaw blade put in there. So you can see that. And then this uh, part here, well, uh, it gets it's a little tight. I I experimented before we made the video. Which is good though. You want it tight, which means it's gonna hopefully hold you know the water out and not come off, get it stuck in the mud. All right. So there it is. It's on there. Pretty tight. And uh, put that on there. So what you got is. Uh, Cordage, spare cord, roughly 16 feet, maybe 15 with that piece there. So we'll say 15 feet of uh, paracord, ferro rod with a striker, hacksaw blade, um, compass. So you've got yourself a pretty good survival walking stick. Right? Right. But now let's do it one step better.
take out our uh, sog spirit. And now you've made it a true survival walking stick. You know, in case of animals, in case you want to get food, human predators, whatever. You got it. You know, you got a nice striking spear and it's a good distance. So, all right, guys. I hope you like uh, my do it yourself walking stick. I'm uh, going to take a little bit of Mountain Dew and enjoy the rest of my day. All right, this is Rooster, guys. As always, thanks for watching my videos. Rooster says, time to go hunting.